if, uh, actually, let's start with notation. If um, R U or R X T one T two is equal to R X of T one plus alpha T two plus alpha for all alpha. So this is that this is that constancy property. And in this case, all that matters is the difference between T two and T one. That I can write uh, if alpha is equal to um, minus t1. Then I can write rx is equal to rx of 0 t2 minus t1. So that this makes explicit the fact that um, the, uh, the autocorrelation is only dependent on the time difference between T2 and T1. So I can boil it down as a function of tau. Let tau equal T2 minus T1. We will then usually write Rx as a function of tau, in other words, the time difference between show that, uh, Rx of 0 is the expected value of T1 times T1 plus 0. So in other words, it's the expected value of T1 squared. And if the mean of the process is 0, the expected value of T1 squared is just the variance of the process. OK, combined with the theorem I showed you earlier, that also means 
that Rx of tau, the magnitude of Rx of tau is less than or equal to Rx of zero. So in other words, the autocorrelation function takes its maximum value at zero, and everywhere else it decays. That makes sense. Uh, correlation should decay away from uh, a particular value. Any questions about that? Okay. Um, in our last few minutes here, or last 20 minutes or so, 